Lewis, defeat at Tranmere, what's the re mood in the dressing room? Disappointment, I'm sure. Yeah, obviously disappointing um, to lose here, but uh, we've looked at the table and it's, it's not the worst. That, um, we obviously go again on Tuesday. We need to forget about today and get on with Tuesday. Another game on Saturday. Um, must win the games if we want to be in around it. So. Uh, looking forward to Tuesday. Tramway's home record speaks for itself, so there's no disgrace in coming here and losing. How do you think the team acquitted themselves? I think we should be still, it doesn't matter if it's a good place to come here. We should, we're a good side, we should be, if we want to be going out, then we've got to beat sides like these. Um, we don't come here uh, knowing that it's a, a massive club we come here, knowing that we're a good club and we want to win. Obviously, we didn't take the, um, we had a chance the first half, we didn't take the chance, but we go again Tuesday. That's it, it was maybe a bit of a slow burner in the first half, quite cagey opening minute, burst into life. I suppose if, if the shots take one of their chances it's a different story. Is there a feeling of what might have been this afternoon? Yeah, maybe. I think if we just stay in the game as, for as long as possible. Um, we were in the game up until 65 and uh, I thought we was controlled the first 20 minutes of the second half. Um, the first half it was about um, not conceding and just staying in the game for as long as possible because we'd know we'd create a chance but fortunately we conceded in the second half and then it's um, everyone's desperate to try and equalise and everyone's going forward, I'm flying for myself and um, everyone's out of position maybe just, just of trying to trying to get that goal back but um, it's disappointing yeah. Was that the game plan to, to keep it tight in the first half maybe use the crowd against Tranmere and then, and then kick on give yourself a platform at the break and then kick on? Yeah, definitely. Coming to a place like this with the fans that they get, if you start creating chances, the crowd will turn and they will start playing a different way of football. Um, we tried to put them on the back foot in the first half and in the second half, but the fans obviously didn't turn against them and we didn't create enough chances. What was the message from the gaffer at half-time? Was it a point here would have been a good result? I think everybody would have, would have seen that, but was it the message to to push on. He his message before the game was was we're going for all three. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, we've got four massive games. Um, if we obviously get ten points out of the the four, we'd be we very happy. And um, we obviously haven't today. But like I said earlier, Tuesday's a massive game. This gets this game's out the window now. We need to focus on Tuesday, recover right, and massive game on Tuesday. That's what everyone's looking forward to. We can't dwell on this. We need to get it right. Ten points from four games would have been brilliant, as you say, but now three games left, the aim is nine points. Yeah, definitely. If you win our two home games, then it, it comes down to between us and, and Sutton. So, um, obviously, we've got a game in hand on Fylde, so um, we need to win the next the next two, and then it takes it into a, a big game against Sutton. What's, what's the key to victory, do you think, on Tuesday night? It's just at the Ebb Stadium, the team on the front foot, I suppose. Yeah, and just play the way we've been taught how to play, and play the way that Gaffer and Rowe wants us to play and I'm sure if we'd all do it right, every single one of us in, as individuals, we would come away with three points. And a big crowd at the Ebb Stadium, they can play their part as ever. Yeah, definitely. The atmosphere that I've had over the last couple of weeks has, has been really good. Um, I found like I've got a real connection with the fans and I'm really enjoying my football. Um, but if, when all of them are behind us, hopefully we can get the three points. There seems to be, you've been here less than half a season, but there seems to be a real, a real affinity building, as you say. The fans really appreciate your swashbuckling efforts. I suppose you're that, that quite tough tackling fullback that, that has got a history at Aldershot Town, going back many years. The likes of Jason Chewins, who you may or may not may not know, but he, I suppose, the fans love that, and you're 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 feeling that you're acquitting yourself well personally. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm an, an honest footballer who gives my all. Um, always try to be. Um, Try to be a good footballer in, in possession of the ball from my upbringing, and, but you can't. I'd, I'd like to come off the pitch and not really fault my my effort. So um, I think that's maybe why the the fans like me. Well, we look forward to another performance on Tuesday night. Thank yeah, you very much, Lewis. Cheers. Yeah.